What's up guys, Blade Master here, going to be bringing you some Total War Attila online action. This is going to be played in the Tusk mod, uh, mod, <laughs> Tusk mod mod. Uh, this is in the beta 1.7 of the Tusk mod. If you guys don't know what Tusk mod is, it is uh, an absolutely massive um, mod which balances, which was originally created for the balancing of Total War Attila multiplayer, but since uh, went into balancing single player and just became a massive overhaul essentially um, of the mechanics of Total War Attila. It's created by Walrus Jones and I'm playing a battle against him in this mod to try and showcase to you guys uh, woo, to try and showcase to you guys this mod and uh, battles played in this mod. This is going to be uh, between the Alans and Thanukids. I've taken the Alans here. Alans of course with the updated roster have no uh, uh, foot skirmishes and instead have a lot of uh, you know just a bunch of cavalry. And a couple of announcements before I actually talk about this battle. Uh, if you guys want to play on the Tusk mod, I'll, you can just use the Blade Balance Buddies group uh, and just type a TM whenever you're putting an announcement if you want to create uh, a 1v1 in Tusk mod. Just type TM 1v1. So TM would denote that it's from Tusk mod and it would also you know, easily allow people to other people to see that, oh, okay, it's not in Blade Balance, it's actually in Tusk mod. Because Tusk mod and Blade Balance are essentially very similar things. Uh, Tusk mod is a lot more far-reaching than uh, Blade Balance. Blade Balance only, you know, I just use um, uh, changes in the stats to showcase differences in uh, units. But in Attila, that's not really possible as, oh my god, the game has already started. Shit. Um, <laughs> this, uh, this, okay, you know what, I'll just go ahead and pause. And I should, uh, there we go. Oh, I, yeah, let's put this in slow motion for now. Uh, if you guys want to, uh, you know, find other people to play, use the Blade Balance Buddies group. Now, uh, Mavia's charges, uh, Mavia's, uh, yeah, charges, uh, Lance is going to charge into uh, Alanic Mounted Footmen here. These are one of the new units in the Alani roster. Uh, I've brought a total of four Alani Mounted Bows. Two of them uh, induced or like baited this cavalry unit to charge into the forest where they charged into mounted footmen who've dismounted and then popped into square formation. So these units absolutely need to be, uh, you know, they need to be dismounted. They're kind of like Dragoons in Empire Total War, where you need to dismount them in order for them to be actually useful. Um, if we can take a quick look, these are Lanik mounted footmen on their, ca on their mounts. They have four melee attack and they have basically really shit stats. Um, they have 30 bonus versus cavalry, but otherwise they have such poor melee attack that they won't really be useful. Uh, we'll uh, I, I, we'll see later in this battle how they'll do on uh, on the horse versus on foot. So these guys, I dismounted them, used them in square formation. They brace for the charge, and the Mavia's lances just got completely mauled uh, by these units. I've also got a couple of Sarmatian spears, which are also dog units. Dog units have been uh, buffed quite significantly. I think they've gotten a 15 attack against cavalry now. Uh, so the dogs will actually do a lot of uh, good work against enemy cavalry. I feel like they might just be a bit overpowered, but I don't really know. I have very limited experience with this mod, but if you guys want me to play more battles in this mod, let me know and I will gladly cast more battles. Um, I wanted to do an LP for the longest time in the mod because a lot of campaign mechanics have also been changed and it makes for, you know, a huge part is like he's updated the garrisons. Uh, so they're a lot better. So a big problem that I had in Attila is that uh, massive uh, cities like Constantinople usually were just left unguarded, uh, and that just removed the realism and the you know and just didn't make for good sieges. So he's made it so garrisons are a lot more realistic and big cities get guarded much better. Uh, these Mavia lancers are chasing after my Alani mounted bows. Another big change is that very light uh, skirmish cavalry. Uh, and light units have 105 uh, speed so the speed differential makes it so very heavy units just cannot reach a very light units you can see my sarmation band here have good missile block chance 50 missile block chance which is different from uh, vanilla artilla just so many mechanics and changes that i can't really go over because i don't really have the time even though it's in <laughs> slow motion my uh, sarmation band uh, fighting up against his rebellion militia rebellion militia have zero cost in um, you know in multiplayer He's brought some Desert Legionary Defectors, a couple of Badia Skirmishes, brought some Mavia Lancers, uh, Mavia's Chosen as well. As you can see, the Mavia's Chosen, they're the more expensive ones. They have, uh, they no, Mavia's Chosen still have 0, 8 armor. Um, the uh, Mavia Lancers have 3 armor, but you can see the Mavia's Chosen have very high melee defense. He's also made it so you can pull through units pretty easily, so it makes it for, it makes for a more um, engaging uh, battle that way. 
uh, the uh, my elite summation cataphracts charged into his badia skirmishes were unguarded. Another big change uh, in Tasmar is that uh, these badia skirmishes and uh, javelin units in general have access to uh, pike phalanx or sorry hoplite phalanx, uh, so they have a big bonus versus cavalry that way. You can see 15 attack against elephants and uh, cavalry, 200% uh, entity mass, even precision shot, things like that, so many different changes. Precision shot have, has changed, uh, it's given plus 12% missile damage, plus 25% accuracy. Accuracy is a huge thing here. Skirmishes have been improved a lot uh, and the uh, you know mechanics to skirmishes has been changed a whole lot because uh, accuracy now plays a, a role. So you know the elite Persian archers and assassinates are actually really deadly because they have incredible accuracy whereas cheap units, cheap Germanic bows, they have very shit accuracy. Now my Alani, Alani mounted bows here uh, have moved behind and uh, they are firing in. Uh, to the rear of these guys so one of the clebonari are forced to chase after them you can see the clebonari have only 70 speed versus alani mounted bows who have 105 speed so they're, they're not going to catch my alani mounted bows anytime soon uh sarmatian band here going to chase after the badia skirmishes i have like four uh, agathursai warriors and uh, an alani general and even the impact damage for cavalry has been uh, updated so they still cause a lot of damage on the charge but not nearly as much so now you can see my alani mounted footmen who are in their uh, who are um, uh, you know uh, on their horses they're going to give chase uh, to these uh, badia no sorry these mavias chargers who actually caught my alani mounted footmen because badia uh, mavias chargers are actually super light themselves so they have the same speed so they managed to catch them once they were uh, you know, on uh, they, they hit the edge of the map and skirmish mode didn't really work. So now my Alani mounted footmen are going to charge into them. They won't, they are not supposed to get too many kills, but they are charging into a unit, Mavia's Lancers, who have only 12 melee defense themselves. So they actually might get a lot of kills this way. But these might just be one of the few units that they can actually charge into and get a few kills uh, like this. If they charge into any regular melee cavalry, the, their melee defense and melee attack is so low that they probably won't cause too many casualties. Oops. Okay, now the Mavia's Lances have charged into my Sarmatian Cataphracts. You saw that they charged into a, 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 an Agathosai warrior earlier, uh, and now they managed to pull, pull away without too many casualties. You can see my um, elite Agathosai cavalry here, who have axes, are actually a very good unit now. Uh, axe units in general have been updated. They've, over, they've been overhauled a long time ago, and there's a separate video that I made about that a long time ago. But yeah, they're much more useful in the game. And uh, here you can see my Sarmatian Cataphracts. Let me put this into something of a, um, uh, you know, kind of a <laughs> cinematic mode is what I want to say. Uh, they're going to charge right into Desert Legionary Defectors and Badia, or sorry, Mavia's Lances are chosen, I think. This is the General. Yeah, this definitely looks like the General. Yeah, so the General is going to pull away. Uh, doesn't really take too many casualties. My general uh, is going to get a, a counter charge, kind of a shitty counter charge, but I have uh, Agathosai warriors who are going to help support them. Uh, my uh, Sarmatian spears uh, <laughs> have got almost about to get a double XP chef run here, and uh, the Sarmatian band have also done decently enough. Agathosai warriors charged into Tanukid ambushes and desert legionary defectors weren't really able to get too many kills. Uh, Tanukid ambushes, uh, they are a they are a very glass cannon unit because you absolutely cannot let them get um, uh, javelin otherwise they they will be essentially useless they have low health and zero basically zero armor so they will die very very quickly um, the clipinari here gonna uh, I think they're gonna charge at my general but uh, fire projectiles have only minus four morale I think it's the, that's the same from vanilla uh, but in, in any case my Alani mounted bows being the nuisance that they are Going to fire into them as they charge into my Agathosai warriors. Uh, you can see that this charge didn't really do too much, and that's probably due to the uh, you know the mechanics overhaul in uh, Tusmart. I'm sure Waldus Jones, if he can uh, watch this video and commentate uh, in the YouTube comments, uh, if he can just tell me what all I've missed in this uh, video because I haven't really taken a deeper look into the mechanics of uh, of Tusmart. So now the Mavius bodyguards charged uh, into my Alani general, both of them taking a significant amount of casualties, 38 melee damage for the Mavius bodyguards, which I think is a di bit different. My Alani general, uh, I think they probably wield spears in melee. No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, but the Mavius bodyguards probably wield a sword in, in melee uh, after the initial charge. 163 charge bonus for these guys versus a 172 charge for my Alani general. So in general, it looks like uh, the Alans look like a very good faction now. 
uh, they always were. I think uh, Alani Martin Footman here going to charge into uh, this little blob here. And they've done very well. And in general, Spears seem to uh, be a lot better in the mod, um, which is a big change from uh, Vanilla Attila. But yeah, sorry, it doesn't look... I, I just feel like my commentary wasn't up to par because there was just so much for me to talk about that I wasn't even really able to focus on the battle. But if you can look at the, the stats here, you can see my, uh, my bows... They were more of a nuisance than anything else. They didn't get many kills, but they forced him to push some of his um, <clears throat> some of his uh, shock cavalry to chase after them. And while you might have thought that maybe he should have used his re rebellion militia to chase after them, uh, on the one hand, they would be so slow that I could just maneuver past them, and on the other hand, that would leave his desert legionary defectors, uh, you know, to the mercy of my Agatha Sai warriors because I could get a clean charge on them. So he was faced with a conundrum at the start of the battle. Um, the Tanukid ambushes, one of them did okay, one of them didn't really do much, and the Badia skirmishes as well didn't really do much. One of the big changes that we haven't really, haven't really shown in this battle is the um, long-range skirmishes. And there's a reason because the map that we played, Kasurgis, is not conducive for uh, long-range skirmish fights. Uh, so yeah, if you guys want, the, the biggest th reason why I wanted to post this battle was not only because I wanted to bring some uh, variety to the YouTube channel, it's also because I wanted to support this mod and I've, uh, man, uh, uh, Wallace Jones has helped me a lot in Blade Balance and I wanted to kind of return the favor and of course it's a really good mod. Um, Despite Attila not having much traction in the multiplayer scene, let's try and get, uh, you know, a little bit of traction, um, at least on this mod. We, you know, 500 people in the Blade Balance Buddies group. I'm sure, like, that you guys can find two or three people who'd be willing to play a 1v1 sometime. And, you know, if there's enough traction, I wouldn't mind uh, supporting a tournament um, in the uh, Tusk mod. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this battle. And, um, yeah, if you guys want to see more of... Uh, the test mod on the channel let me know and stay tuned for more peace